Hello everybody and welcome to the start of Silent Hill 4, The Room. Yeah, I thought it was time I continued the Silent Hill series, and of course I've played 1, I've played 2, and I've played 3 on this channel. It's about time I started 4. Now, before we actually start a new game, I should just mention I haven't actually completed this game before. Although I have played it a lot. Every time I got to a certain event throughout the game, the game would crash. And uh, I think now that I've installed a few little mods and a few little tweaks to the game, I should be able to get through that section and we should be able to play this without any problems. I'm going to assume you have a, a working knowledge of the Silent Hill universe. Perhaps you've, you, perhaps you've played the games yourself. Perhaps you've seen my playthroughs of them, which will be in the description down below, by the way. And um, I'm going to start a new game and we're going to see how, how Silent Hill 4 runs and plays and I hope you have a very good time watching. It was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. And here we are. We're actually in the game right now, which might come as a little bit of a shock to some people who aren't familiar with the game. We're playing it in a first-person perspective. Ah! Oh dear. Now, we we don't actually play this in this perspective throughout the whole game. It's only when I'm in apartment 302, my home. Where did that scream come from? It must have been two or three years at least since I played this game, so you're going to have to forgive me for uh, forgetting a few things. What's this? Yeah, what's with this room? Well, it's covered in blood and rust. <laughs> of course, I think we know what's going on, but Henry, of course, doesn't at this point. Uh, let's let's leave the room. See if we can find out where that scream was coming from. Okay, welcome to apartment three hundred two, guys. We've got the little kitchen area. Um, to my left, I think this is where the front door is meant to be. You can sort of see an outline of a door. And a spy hole. This is my room. But what the hell has happened to it? You can even see the locks and the light switches over there. Yeah, it's just covered in blood and rust. And somebody has left the television on. This room. Is it really my room? Well, I'm afraid it is. And check this out. There's a face. On the wall here. Yeah, creepy. It looks like a face. It is pretty creepy. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? We obviously can't look outside the windows right now. Uh, there's another door over there, actually. Oh. I think I'm a little bit dazed. I still haven't woken up yet. Wait, what is that? Much like Silent Hill 3, it doesn't take too long before things go very, very wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to Silent Hill 4, The Room. It was, what, like a, a decade ago since it's actually been released? And I seem to remember back then, this release was 
was kind of controversial in a way, because I think the first three Silent Hill games are so well respected, they're seen as classics now. I think when 4 came out, people were, well, people were divided, really. A lot of people liked it, but a lot of people didn't, and I think it's because the game deviates ever so slightly. Personally, I can't really say if this is a better game or a worse game than the other three because I haven't fully completed it, but from what I remember, from what I played, it didn't quite reach the heights of the first three games, so it's a little bit of a low point, but it's still very good. Who knows, though? Perhaps when I do finally complete this game, I might have a completely different opinion. I might actually side with the people who said, no, this isn't Silent Hill, this is, this is going down the wrong direction. I guess we'll see. And here we have the protagonist of this game, Henry Townsend. He's no Harry Mason, but he'll do. Oh, man. What a dream. Okay. Was it a dream? That's the question right now. I'm not so sure myself. Either way, it looks like we're sort of back to normal here. Okay, that is a photo of the church he ran across while he was visiting Silent Hill. So, there you go, there's already a connection there. For some reason, I was really attracted by the way it looked, so I took the picture. You probably shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, the phone. Still not working. No, Henry is completely disconnected from the outside world, as we'll find out. There is no escape. Oh. Hello? Someone's cut the cord. Cut. So how does that make any sense? Henry, I hate to tell you, but I think you might be hearing things. Weird. Very weird. Okay. Yeah, no more blood, no more rust on the walls. Everything looks, well, drab and dreary, really. It's not a very nice place in the first place. <laughs> but let's just check that, you know, everything else is, is back to normal. Okay. All looks pretty good to me. Oh yes, and of course the front door's back. And what a sight that is. There's even something down there too. Let's check it out. Five days ago. That's when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. The phone doesn't work. The TV doesn't work. I can't even get anybody to hear me when I yell. My whole world has suddenly turned insane. My door's chained up, the windows are sealed shut. And on top of that, someone chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here? Don't go out, Walter. What the hell? What's going on here? Oh? Well, of course. Even though we can't use the door, we can still use the spy hole. And see that that's I Eileen Galvin from next door. Oh, oh man. I hope my luck changes before the party. And off she goes next door, I assume. I don't even know if she sees the handprints on the wall behind her. And uh, I don't think she knows that I'm trapped inside here, either. Anyway, I think that's all we're going to see at the moment, so let's just get out of this. And uh, I want to check what's underneath the door. Looks like a note of some sort? Yeah, what's this? Mum, why doesn't you wake up? What? Okay, anyway, I put the first letter in my scrapbook. And I think I accessed the scrapbook by going into the like escape menu and stuff. 
Uh, yes, yes I do. So there we go. That's where I'm going to put all the stuff that I collect. And uh, I can reference it later. So there we are. All right, back to the game. Okay, so um, anything else? I noticed that the face is gone, which is always good. The TV has been turned off, and it looks like I can actually look outside the windows. What's this? This chest could hold a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. And this is how I can sort my inventory. I think I can put stuff in the box, take stuff out, and put it on my, uh, my player slots down here. But of course, I don't have anything, so we'll come back to that later on. Actually, this thing is sticking out like a sore thumb. That... Oh, no. <laughs> he really wants to take a look out the window. What's he looking at? The woman in the pink top? Life goes on as normal outside. And nobody knows how tormented I am in here. And off she goes down there. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, we can actually look freely around here so we can see other people in, like, I guess, apartments across from me. Uh, see how their daily lives are going. There's a kid looking out there, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, life just seems to go on as normal, and I think I'm the only one in this situation where I'm trapped and cannot leave. What is actually going on in there? Are we seeing some uh, child molestation going on? Because I'm not really sure. <laughs> anyway, let's back out of this. I didn't really want to look out the window anyway. What I really wanted to look at was... Fucking distractions, man! What's going on now? What was that? Yeah, what Exactly, what was that? Whatever it was, I think it can probably wait. Uh, yes, down here, behind this bookcase is a scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world. It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within, yet without the Lord's world. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux. Unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? And this part of the book is too damaged to read, but there is more. It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. And, um, and that is actually the end. It's too damaged to read anymore. Again, the book scrap is actually going in my scrap book. So I can read that again later on. Now... What did I just hear? Something from around this area, I think. In here, maybe? What's in here? Oh, okay, we've got our own little sort of private laundry room, I think. Yeah, toolbox and everything. Tools and things on the ground. Perhaps I can use them later on. Um, I don't think this is where the sound was coming from, though. Maybe it was the other room down the corridor? This one here? What's this one? Ah, this is it. What the hell? It's one of those worms from Penumbra, I tell ya. Is somebody in there? Well, there is one way to find out. Go on, Henry, you can do it. I wonder if I can get out this way. Well, it's worth a shot, isn't it? I think it's worth a shot. Here we go. Let's give it a go. Oh no, but first, the sewage pipe's broken too. Pull on the part hanging down? Absolutely. So I got a steel pipe. And it's definitely a Silent Hill game now. A three foot long sewer pipe. Not very powerful, but fairly easy to use. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, can we perhaps go through the hole? Yes! Enter the hole! Absolutely. A possible escape. Admittedly, it's perhaps not the wisest decision, but he's been trapped in there for five days. He must be going insane. Anything's better than there, right? Oh, 
All right, then. Here we go. I don't believe there's any going back once you enter a hole like this. And we will have to do this a couple of times throughout the game. But no, there is no going back. This hole, it was made for me. This is so good. You know what? The mods and the tweaks that I've installed actually seem to have helped the game because I believe the PC version, for whatever reason, during cutscenes would only be maxed at like 15 FPS. And um, that's just intolerable as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, I'm very happy with the way it's turning out so far. Again, really hope you are enjoying it. If you'd like to see more, please leave a like in the video and I'll get straight back onto this and give you a part two. Okay, so this <laughs> is at the end of the hole. An escalator just for me. And pipes as far as the eye can see. <laughs> you know, if you get up and walk, you can... Is he asleep? Just enjoying the ride, I guess. What the hell? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Henry Townsend has got this weird way about him, like um, he's got a, an almost carefree attitude, like he's, he's just along for the ride. Literally, in this case. And so here we are, back to the way you would normally play a Silent Hill game in third person, but without any limiting tank-like controls. Pretty good. Okay. Right. Uh, now there's a little, there's a, a few buttons that I'd like to sort of just, you know, get to grips with before we go down there and see the woman who I think I saw out the window. Um, okay, tab actually brings the camera right behind your head, so that's that's really going to help out because often in Silent Hill games and Resident Evil games. And any games with like tank like controls, the camera is often your worst enemy. But in this game, there is a way to get around that. Okay, so mouse scroll goes through your items. Middle click seems to equip stuff. Okay, right click it actually comes up with your health bar. And um, the little circle to the right of that appears to be how much power you're putting into the swing in this case. So there you go, full power, big swing. Okay. Uh, have we got a map and everything? We do have a map now, actually. We're in basement one of wherever we are. Okay. And I think we're gonna we're just gonna draw this as we go. South Ashfield. We're not too far away. If she's the woman that I saw out the window, I think we might be in the subway system. And I'm gonna go down there in a moment, but after we've met her. Who are you? No, who are you? What's your name? I know my name. What's your name? Henry. And you? <laughs> this is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway, I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Say, will you help me find it? I'm kind of scared all alone. I'll do a special favor. For you later. <laughs> it's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. Fair enough, I suppose. I don't mind that logic. Okay. Let's see if we can find a way out of here. I did actually pass a corridor back here to the right. And uh, it looks like she's going to be following me from now on. Let's see what's down here. Okay. I see a door. Are we, uh, are we adding to the map as we go? We are. Fantastic. Or maybe two doors, actually. I think that's what those black dots at the end are. Yep, let's uh, let's check them out. This door's shut tight, it won't open at all. And what about this one? <laughs> the door is locked from the other side, of course. Another, another mark of a Silent Hill game right there. Doors that will not open. It's probably only going to be a matter of seconds before we come up against one that has its lock broken. 
Okay, now let's see if we can find a way out for you guys. It, it's been so long since I played this game. Honestly, it's it's kind of like a new game to me. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. Just a big long corridor ahead of me. And a couple of rooms to the left, it looks like. A couple of doors to try out. Somewhere down here. I see them, actually. Wait a minute. I think I'm gonna puke. Perfect timing, I suppose. Hours later... Is she still in there? I really am having trouble remembering this game. I don't remember this bit at all. I feel like I should, though. Is that Cynthia? No. Wrong toilet. Whoa! Oh, fuck me. Henry, best best get out of the way. What the fuck? <laughs> Were they teleporting? What long tongues you have. All the better to lick you with. Must have a little bit of trouble biting down. Oh. Maybe not, maybe not. How is he just standing here? I'd be fucking legging it. I'd be miles away by now. Right. Oh, jeez. Right. Okay. I I don't think I want, really want to get into a combat situation, to be honest, because, as you probably know, in most Silent Hill games, if you can avoid a combat situation, it probably is best to. To conserve your ammunition, conserve your health, and just get the fuck out of there. And, uh, in doing so, it looks like I went into the women's toilets here. What was that? Cynthia, I assume. Okay, I don't think anyone's in here. Or there. Okay, what the fuck is this? Where could this crazy hole lead to? Enter the hole? Uh... Yes? I don't remember this at all. I'm really glad I'm playing it now, because this is new to me now. So... Oh, we're back in the apartment now? We're back in 302? That's so strange. What? Another dream. Maybe. But it seems so real. Or could it be? A dream within a dream? Was I really inside that woman's dream? It is a Silent Hill game. I wouldn't rule anything out. Oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? You see what I mean about the sort of carefree attitude he's got? I mean, carefree's probably not the right word, and I think it's probably something to do with the voice actor. I don't know. There's just like a, um, like a lack of emotion sometimes, I feel. Okay, and I get my health back, which is kind of nice. I think that might happen every time you actually arrive back in your apartment. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure that one out throughout the game. Let's just go back in. You know what? I want to I want to check something. I want to check if the hole's still in the bathroom. Okay, it is. So I can go back. Do I want to go back, though? That's the question. Is there, has anything changed in the apartment at all? Let's have a look, shall we? We haven't got any, like, more notes under the... No, no more notes under there. Can I look through the spy hole, though? Can I see anything else? The handprints are still there. No Eileen at the moment. Alright. Let's try something else. What about maybe looking out the window? Or, um, you know what? Hang on. Um, is this where I save? Usually it's like a little notebook and stuff. Oh, it's not here. I'm pretty sure you can save in this apartment somewhere. Oh, hang on. This furniture has been here since I moved in. Huh? That's weird. Somebody moved it. Straighten it. Yeah, I think so. Oh ho ho! Who could have done it? 
Well, I don't know, but they left behind a gun. There we go, there's a pistol on the floor. Will I take the pistol? Absolutely. I got the pistol. Right, a little bit better than the pipe, but obviously you have to worry about ammunition. Hang on, is there something written down there? Yeah, there's a message carved in here. It looks like they used an ice pick or something. The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any farther. The hallway, the windows, the walls. It feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Eileen never noticed. So somebody's been trying to break out of this room, and I'm wondering if I did that, if I wrote that, and actually, the damaged wall... Can I look through it? Yeah, I think so. Yes, I can see into Eileen's room next door. Through a slight gap. Hmm. Where did I put that damp room? Right in front of the hole. Quick, stick your finger through it. Try and get her attention. Check out the rabbit. Reminding me of anything? Ah, uh, right. So that's that. So that's something else I can check on every time I come back here. Right. But really, what I want to know is... Well, now, what I want to know is who's on the phone to me? I'm fairly sure the cord is still cut. I shouldn't be receiving any calls at all. I swear, if it's something about claiming back PPI, I'm going to fucking flip. There's one here! Was that Cynthia? What was that about a token? And now I'm hearing something. Hang on. What the... What? There's something to the left, either in the bathroom or near the front door somewhere? Oh, hang on. Is she sweeping? That would make some sense. Right, okay, so she spilled something earlier, right? She was picking some cans up, I think, so she's just cleaning up the mess. Ah, okay, right. I think what I probably want to do is crawl through the hole again. But before I do that, I actually want to save. I'm pretty sure there is a way of saving. It could be that book over there in the corner between the sofas. Is it? It is, okay. And I think that's actually going to end video one. Thank you very, very much for watching this first part. I really hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more, please leave a comment down below. Maybe leave a like on the video because the more feedback I get that, you know, signifies that you'd like to see more, the more likely I will continue the series. So, uh, yeah, I hope to see you in a, a part two very soon. We're playing it in a first person perspective. Oh dear. Wrong toilet. Whoa! Oh, fuck no.